Long Beach Comic Con 2011. Got a special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself, sir? Sure, I'm David Schwartz. I wrote a comic called Meltdown for Image Comics a few years ago. And uh, since then, I've been writing for Aspen Comics, doing Fathom Blue Descent, and now the upcoming Idolized. So tell me a little bit about this. So you told me a little bit before we started recording. It sounds like an amazing book and kind of twisted. Thank you. Yeah, it is kind of twisted. Yeah. Uh, it is basically True Grit meets American Idol with capes. Uh, it's a story of a girl with sort of a dark and mysterious past who is looking for revenge and redemption, and it plays out over the course of her competing in an American Idol type TV show for superheroes. So do you have like a Simon Cowell type of character? We do. Yeah, absolutely. You can't have a, a book like that without one, right? So are you a fan of American Idol yourself? Or uh, are you just thinking not, not that music? I would Not that I would admit on video, <laughs> right. no, but uh, yeah, my wife and I actually got really into it the first year or two, okay. and uh, I, I will actually admit to you here, because no one else will hear this, of course, right. that, uh, that we actually did attend a couple of the tapings in the early years, but then wow. we, we, uh, we really dropped out of it pretty quick. So is that what inspired you? Were like, oh, so much competition in this. I mean, yeah, I, you know, I was thinking that, uh, that it's a, it's, there's a lot of human drama right. that's involved in a show like that, because it's people who really have you know, dreams that they are so unbelievably passionate about that you see play out on television. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, you know, it could translate really interestingly into a comic book world where you have characters who really are unbelievably passionate about wanting to make a difference in the world through using their superpowers. Um, and if that world, uh, you know, the superhero world, was one where it was just as difficult to break into being a big superhero right. or joining like a Justice League or that type of thing as it is to break into the music world in our world, that could be an interesting dynamic where these kids are all desperate to be like the next Superman or next Batman. So do they have challenges that they have to use their powers? Absolutely. They're all competing in challenges and uh, competing against each other and one can one up each other. And uh, and so our you know our lead character has to get through all of that in order to get to her chance at getting the revenge that she's been looking for. Cool. So is this going to link up to any of the other apps and stuff, or is it just its own universe? So we far? may have some cameos from, uh, from you know, previous I would, judges. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Aspen uh, herself or you know, Lady Mechanica or one of the others wants to audition or something. <laughs> you know, if we have them in the background of the auditions or something. Right. But uh, other than that, no. Each each Aspen book is sort of a separate universe. Okay. And there's something that you guys are doing to help promote the yeah, book in a really interesting way. Thank you. Yeah. Very American Idol way. Exactly. So. The artist on the book is Mike Ganell, who, if you've ever seen his work on Shrugged or on the Executive Assistant miniseries, is just really amazing. And he's been doing spectacular work on this. And as he turns in the designs for each character, he gives us like three or four different looks, right? three or four different costumes to choose from. And we were looking at them and saying, yeah, you know, we have our preferences, but instead of us choosing it, you know, just like sort of the idea of this TV show where people are voting, let's let the fans decide. So each week we put up two more characters on the Idolized Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash idolized comic. And like uh, it, like it right now. Exactly. Go Pause like this video and, and go, go vote. And, uh, and the readers, uh, you know, the fans can vote on which of the ones they like. And we're going to go with whichever ones they choose. Okay. Uh, so you're doing like, a, like kind of like Final Four type of thing right now? Just get a bunch of them? And then as the book gets closer, are you going to select the two final ones? Yeah, well, each week is two different characters. Okay. And so each of those characters has three different looks. Okay. And so people go on, do you like the left one, the middle one, or the right one? And whichever one wins out is the one we go with. And then the next Monday, we put up two new characters. And the book doesn't hit for a while, right? Exactly. It hits in March. Okay. So we have lots of time to actually take those designs and actually draw them into the books. Nice. Like I told you, I'm like, when does your book come out? Does it come out like in two months? Where it's like, oh, no, we'd be in big trouble if yeah. that were the case. That's good. Planning ahead. Exactly. Looking forward to it? Yeah. We're, we're really excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So. Are they going to play popular music in the background? Like yeah. really bad ones? You, you have to turn on bad American Idol winter songs in the background as you're reading it. And have Harvey Dent? Not Harvey Dent. Uh, what was that guy's name in uh, True Grip? Oh, uh, Jeff Bridges. No. Harvey. Uh, big tall guy with the vacuum Big tall guy with the vacuum In True Grit? Is it true? Oh, no. I'm, th I'm thinking uh, of Country for Old Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wrong movie. Same yeah. director. Yeah. But thank you. Absolutely. Pleasure. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.